run across titles which you love, but they've been used so many times, times before that you can't use them again. Uh, it just it kind of arose out of, out of our story. Maybe you want to add something? Yeah, the only thing I would add is, is a sort of mundane point, if I may, which is one of my responsibilities is the worldwide distribution of the film. And uh, uh, what happens in these kinds of theaters is they're, they're not distributed with a kind of Hollywood studio budget. And it's extremely important in these films that you get one or more key words to communicate to the public what the film is about that you can't rely on $100 million of marketing spend to communicate. So you have to essentially be quite almost prosaically clear about what the film is about and have words that people will recognize. So journey and mecca are two words that are communicate a lot and communicate a lot about what the film is, which is why a combination of when we saw the film as it came together and saw what it was, and in combination with what you have to do to actually present these to the public, that kind of led us to this title, I would say. The working title was The Greatest Journey, and it, did, it didn't really tell, tell the public what they the were going to see. Cameron, could you, could you tell us, um, one of our problems in booking this film, Jonathan was talking about booking, is uh, in the US. We have a, we have a fundamental anti-Islamic feeling in the US, which we're trying to overcome. And I'd love to hear from, hear from Kamran, who is from Michigan, um, uh, from the other side, because, <laughs> because uh, one of our challenges really is to get the film shown in, in the most difficult and the largest territory. We have obviously little problem getting shown in any Muslim country, and we plan to build with one of our partners um, a full-time destination IMAX cinema yeah, in Jeddah, where it will play every day of the year. But I'd love to hear from Cameron, a view of someone who lives in the States and who understands a little bit of the challenge that we're facing getting the film shown in the States. Um, well, I can't speak for every American, <laughs> certainly. But uh, maybe uh, uh, some of the difficulty you would have in audience in, um, in America is uh, simply the fact that uh, the, the, in the cities themselves where the IMAX theaters are uh, located, uh, they don't have, except for the large cities like maybe Los Angeles and New York City, sometimes they don't have um, very, very large um, communities that would be interested in this. They're not as diverse, say, as you know, to Toronto or something. Some of the major cities, uh, they, they don't have the same sorts of populations that would be interested in the journey to Mecca, uh, I think maybe that might be one of the difficulties. Uh, I think certainly you would have, a, you would have, you should be able to find a, uh, a certainly in New York, maybe in Los Angeles, some of these very large metropolitan cities where there's a very diverse community, like in Toronto, like in Montreal, for example, where it's, it's an extremely diverse community with all sorts of people. fill in on this, but uh, our experience uh, in Toronto has been exceptional. Um, the opening couple of weeks we had a largely Muslim audience, but it's played very well for a long time with a largely non-Muslim audience. Um, we started screening at the Smithsonian uh, in Washington in January, and of course the initial audience was largely Muslim again, but it's been playing very successfully there. Jonathan, perhaps you want to comment on how, our, how, how we're facing these difficulties of getting it shown in, in the most important part of the world. Well, we, uh, are, we have been targeting, first and foremost, those cities with a sizable enough Muslim population to provide a base for the film to open with, and that's kind of what Jake was alluding to. So uh, that's what we did in Toronto very successfully. It's played for a full year in Toronto, and it's playing in Washington. We expect it to play for a very long time there as well. Uh, so we work closely with the local Muslim community to create, as we say, this kind of base of interest. And Sam Martin here, who works with us at SK Films, has been uh, really the one who's been going out and visiting all the mosques and schools and community centers to build that base. And then as the film plays for a while and it gets very strong reviews and word of mouth, we've been able to build a non-Muslim audience. And it's very important to say that you know, we didn't make this film just for Muslims. We, really one of the biggest points of making the film is to bridge the communities. And if non-Muslims don't see it, then it hasn't fully succeeded. 
even though we've had a wonderful response from the Muslim community. And certainly, uh, we are very hopeful that the film will play in Montreal. We're very, we're a bit mystified, frankly, why the theater here has not booked this film. It's been available for a full year. And we hope that any of you in the audience who want to help with that, we'd love to talk to you. Come and talk to us afterwards, either Sam here or myself. Um, because we think that with a community of, I think, over 200,000 Muslims in Montreal, this ought to be something where we can build this base here to, to launch from, uh, but for some reason the theater that is beyond us, really, the theater has uh, kind of resisted that. So we're very hopeful that tonight can be one of the stepping stones to get it, to, to really get the theater and the, the Montreal Science Center to get on board for this film because we think it's important for the local community. We have a question up here. 